Hi, this is Dan Frio of The Mortgage Update, and I've put together a series of videos, and basically it's for, um, it, I'll call it Home Buying 101, and there's going to be a lot of things that uh, first-time home buyers, as well as somebody that's moving up or moving down, like second home buyers or, or investors can get out of this, as well as realtors, because I was amazed. I, I attended some parties over the holidays. And uh, there were realtors there who a lot of them don't know the programs um, on some specific things. And they, you know, some are thinking, you know, you still need 20% down as a down payment in that. So I just, I decided to put an educational series together. And uh, this is the first part of it. But I'm going to go through, this is just going to be Home Buying 101. Then I'm going to discuss credit scores, uh, down payments, types of properties, condos, townhouse, those things. Budgeting. And w when you're looking for a home, you need a team. And that, that team's got to work together. You need a realtor. You need a, uh, a loan person, an attorney, uh, title companies, things like that, inspectors. Um, all part of your team to help you through this process as smooth as we can. So basically, this again, this is um, Home Buying 101. I'm going to hit a couple details. I'm going to skip some pages. But let's get started. But please come back, subscribe to my channel. Um, in the near future here, I'm going to have... Uh, videos in regards to FHA programs, conventional financing, uh, FHA 203K loans, whether rehab loans, VA loans, USDA loans. I'm doing a USDA loan right now. It's 100% financing. Um, rates, terms, fees, everything that you might need to know in regards to when you're looking to buy a home. Uh, so let's get started. Here's buying your first home. And I'm going to, like I said, the first few pages I'm going to skip through. But let's go through here. Buying a home, it can be confusing and daunting. Um, we need to get on the same page from day one. And I'm going to go through some of those things with you here, what we need to get from you, and kind of what you can expect each leg of the way that we go through here. So, you know, we need to make sure that you know the home buying process. And that's well, this is one the first part of that. Um, tax benefits and you know advantages of a home ownership is right here and just reference back to this if you want to get back to these pages um, your payments and on your mortgage your salaries and that um, home buying advice you, there is a 97 percent or a three percent down program right now that you'll need credit counseling will help you through that so let's get let's get down to the basics home the home buying process basically we need the first thing is we need to qualify you get you pre-approved. I didn't say pre-qualified. We get you pre-approved. We'll get you an approval so you know going into it that you can get the house. Uh, so we need financial documents and we'll get those things from you. Tax returns, pay stubs, if you're retired, your social security, your pension, and those things. We'll pull credit and get you approved. Then you go house hunting. You're going to have to get a good realtor and we can make suggestions for you or, or guide you down that path and help you find a good realtor. Then you make an offer on the property and that goes through. They accept your offer. We get through this process, get you the loan, and then we close. So um, first step, financial records. What I need from you is we'll, we'll get a complete application, but I need your job history, your income, and documents of assets. Basically, your income records, two years of taxes, two recent pay stubs. If you're retired, pension. I'll need an awards letter, pension, uh, proof of pensions. Uh, benefits, Social Security, things like that, documents of assets, how much money you have in the bank. If we need a down payment, I'm going to need two months of bank statements, retirement uh, funds. You can get gifts from people, and I'll walk you through the gift letters and how we transfer that money into your account. Um, what we do is a lender to evaluate your loan. PITI is the principal, interest, taxes, and insurance on that property. Um, you might not escrow. You might not have to include your taxes and insurance, but that's part of the budgeting process of this. Total debt to income. We call it DTI, DTI, debt to income. It's your debts that show up on your credit report, not cell phone bills, cable bills, and those things. Basically, creditors, credit cards, car companies, uh, mortgages if you have those, student loans. And we divide that by your income, and you have to hit certain ratios. Credit scores are huge. Um, and I'll go through that in a little more detail in my credit score video uh, that's coming up. Evaluating your home options. What we do, I'm set up with over 20 different lenders. Why? Because everybody has their own little niche. We call them overlays. A bank, for example, FHA does not require a minimum credit score. You might call a big bank company 
and they might require a 580 credit score, 620, 640. Um, those are overlays because again, FHA does not have a minimum credit score. The debt to income ratio that we were talking about, many of the bigger banks do not, will not go over 43% ratio. And if I'm confusing you, there'll be more videos to follow this to educate you a little bit more on that. But there, those are things, what we do is I go through your credit, I go through your budgeting, um, you know, and then we look at also a big part of your payment is your taxes, the real estate taxes, that's huge. So we go through all of that and get you fully approved. So, um, you know, we'll need a lot of documentation from you out of the, out of the gate to get these things going. And that's why, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a mortgage broker. I deal with over 21 different lenders, wholesale lenders to get, to guarantee you the lowest rate and fees in the market. Your options. You know, can, is a fixed rate loan or an adjustable rate good for you? Is a 30 year, 20 year, 25 year, 10 year, 15 year, you know, what term are you looking at? How old are you? When do you plan on retiring? Do you plan on moving in the future? Mortgage insurance options. Don't be freaked out of mortgage insurance. Uh, basically, you can get loans now with 0% down. Uh, conventional loans right now are 3% down, but if you do not put down 20%, in most cases, you have what's called mortgage insurance, and I'll, I'll discuss that in more videos. Fees, um, please don't be wowed if somebody tells you I can get you this rate and you're thinking, wow, that's the best rate I've ever heard of. How much is it costing you to get that? I'll, I'll, I'll have videos on that as well. But don't be afraid to ask questions. That's what we're here for. Uh, all the clients I deal with, you have my personal cell number. I ask them if it's weekends or things like that. Yes, I have a family, but I'm here to help you. Text me. If I'm available to talk, I'll call you right back. If not, I'll text you back and forth and we'll get your, get your questions answered. Um, and again, ask a lot of questions. I'll ask a lot of questions of you because I wanna get to know you as quick as I can and, and, and structure something that I would do personally. And again, you don't have to do the way I set it up for you, but I've done this for 25 years. Of I've owned uh, multiple homes. I've been in this process quite a bit. So I'll give you my you know, recommendations, but again, you're the boss. You make the decisions that's best for you. But um, that's where I can help you at in, in this area. Um, finding your new home will get you set up if you do not have a good realtor and a good realtor. Um, I won't elaborate on that. I'll do that in some other videos, but someone who we can work with, um, you don't have to use our suggestions, but if you, you're in need of a realtor, I got several in different areas of Illinois that we, we uh, like dealing with, and I can refer you to them, give you their contact information. But we need a good team. Uh, working with a real estate agent, you know, they, they, this, these are things that they, they're expected to help you with. Um, you know, they want, you want to find your dream home. They should know the neighborhoods, the schools in that area. Uh, the tax rates. Are there any perks in that in that county, city, that they're giving away to help grant money for down payments assistance and those things? I can help you, but if you get a good realtor that's local to those areas, they should know these things. Buying a home, make an offer, sales contract. That's the, that's you making that offer. You sign it on paper and give it to the seller, and ask them. You know, we are you good with these these terms? They sign it. We close the sale. Contingencies, what that is, do you have a home? Uh, the biggest thing is a financing contingency. Do you have a house to sell? Um, home inspections, I would highly suggest it when you're buying a home. That's not the appraisal, that's an inspector going in to see if there's anything wrong with the property. Settlement statement, that's what you'll get prior to closing. We'll go through all the numbers to make sure they add up to exactly what we disclosed to you at the beginning because we don't want to, you know, you to get to the end of the road and say, Dan, these numbers don't add up. They will add up, I promise you. Closing documents, you'll go to a closing uh, a title company or an attorney's office, sign everything, we'll, we'll wire the money to the seller, and they'll hand over the keys to you. And you sign, 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 and then you leave there and go move into your new home. So if I can be of any help, please give me a call, 630-338-1160. Visit our website, themortgageupdate.net. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's a lot of good information there. This is Dan Frio again, The Mortgage Update. Take care. Great talking to you.